Welcome to the DMS Light video training series. Today we will be adding a DVR to DMS Lite. The DMS Lite application should already be running with the Setup tab selected. If not, please start DMS Lite and go to the Setup tab. From the Setup tab, locate the Configuration panel and click on Resource. The device list will appear to the right. Click on the icon Add found near the bottom of the screen. The New Device dialog box will appear. The first thing we need to do is assign the DVR name in the Device Name field. Since the name is arbitrary, the name used is not important. In this case though, I am going to use the DVR's model DR16HD for the name field. For the model field, click on the drop down menu to reveal all the currently supported models. There are two DVR models listed, H.264 DVR and MPEG-4 type DVR. The H.264 DVR model is selected with respect to all DRH series DVRs as they use the H.264 video codec. The MPEG-4 type DVR model is selected with respect to all DRN series DVRs as they use the MPEG-4 video codec. Since I'm adding a DR16HD model, I need to select the H.264 DVR listing. For the media protocol entry, there's nothing to enter as it is grayed out. The address entry can be a little tricky, as it requires the IP address that will allow DMS Lite to make a connection to the respective DVR. If the DVR and the PC running DMS Lite are in the same building on the same network, the required IP address will be the IP address of the DVR itself. If the DVR and the PC running DMS Lite are not in the same building, they are on completely different networks. The IP address to use will either be the public IP address assigned to the modem at the location of the DVR, or the DDNS URL used for the DVR. In this case, I'm going to enter 192 dot one six eight dot zero dot one zero four as I am on the same network as the DVR. For the port number, DMS Lite requires the web server port number of the DVR. As my DVR is using its default setting, the web server port is 8080. The ID entry requires the user ID that is required by the DVR when accessing the DVR's menus directly. In the case of my DVR, the user ID is admin, all capital, as the DVR's user ID is case sensitive. Just like the ID entry, the password entry requires the user password used at the DVR. Since my DVR is using default settings, I need to enter 1, 2, 3, 4 to match that of the DVR's user password. The last option to set is the auto connection, and if checked, DMS Lite will attempt to connect to the DVR when you log into DMS Lite. One thing to note about the auto connection option is that it can quickly eat up the available network bandwidth if connecting to too many ID devices at one time. If network bandwidth is limited, it is not recommended to use the auto connection option but to manually connect to an IP device or devices as needed. Now that the DVR is added, I can select OK close the new device dialog box and then click on apply. DMS Lite requires a confirmation of the addition of any IP device, so click on yes and after device is added click on OK. As note, the way to connect to a DVR that does not have the auto connection option selected is by right clicking on the DVR under the system overview panel. The drop down menu will list the options to assign, connect, disconnect and recording information. Select the connect option and DMS Lite will connect to the DVR for the duration of the current session or until manually disconnected. Thank you for viewing this DMS Lite training video related to adding a DVR. Keep an eye on our website for more training videos and if you don't see what you need, please email us.